bananas, you say peppers. And this will be the second time you see me in this um in this same ensemble. But I had two packages that I wanted to unwrap today because this little guy has been sitting in my house for a very, very long time. And I honestly have no idea what is inside of it. Well, I, I have some idea. I have some idea what's inside of it, but I don't know what's inside of it. That kind of makes no sense. This actually came to my PO box as a complete surprise a very, very long time ago. When all of this stuff first started, I was still like collecting items from my PO box, but I basically have just like sat all the packages aside for a very, very long time. Anyway, I saw like the label that was on this package and I knew who it was coming from. So this is a reborn doll. It's gonna be a fantasy doll, I think of some sort. The person who makes these dolls, her name is Evelina Evergreen and it's actually called Evergreen Art Dolls. But I think if you just look up Evelina Evergreen on Etsy, you will find her page. And she makes like some of the cutest triceratops, geckos, avatar babies, little uh kind of wooden <laughs> creatures, tree creatures. And I'm not sure if they're really meant to be like Groot or like the little mandrakes, I think is what they're called from Harry Potter. I have no idea what she sent me as a surprise, but I am finally excited to open it up. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. It's been a long time, I feel like, since I've done a reborn doll unboxing. I am excited to see this creature. Ooh, we have paper. Look at this little, it's like actually a bag. Oh my gosh, that is so adorable. I had no idea. It's like a little reusable tote bag. And it honestly looks like perfect for this time of year because it looks like something that you could do as like a Valentine's Day giveaway, you know, where you could like color in the bag. That is so cute. I'm gonna reuse this for something. I just don't know what yet. Here is a card. And I'm gonna go ahead and hold off on opening this just in case like sometimes they send you a picture of the doll or like a little birth certificate or something. So I just want to go ahead and open the box and like see what it is and then we'll open the card. So here is the box, so cute. She seems to make a lot of the smaller like little palm sized dolls like, you know, I don't know, he might be a little bit bigger but like Shrek here. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever shown him on YouTube, but I have done like a TikTok with him pretty recently. These are like the smaller size Reborns that I have really got into collecting alongside like the bigger ones. But these are honestly like so cute to just like photograph and everything. And if you wanted to like take them out and about, they're like obviously much more convenient to do that with something that's like five inches versus like the actual like full size babies. Let's go ahead and cut open. Did I cut it open? No, you guys, I feel like my special magical rainbow knife. I think it's getting a little dull, but I was looking for new ones on Amazon the other day because that's where I got this one from. I just typed in like rainbow knife or something. I'm having deja vu now because I feel like I said this not that long ago, but I just found a whole bunch of other ones and like some of them look like mermaids on the hilt. It looked very, very cool. So let's open it up. You guys will see before me. <gasps> no, you won't. There is yet more mystery inside. Right on top here, we have like a little bundle of extra goodies. I always love when there is like a whole unboxing experience with the Reborn dolls. Like sometimes you'll just get just the doll, which is like, okay. But I feel like it's more fun when you get artists like this that kind of make like an entire unboxing experience. So we have a little um, package of Valentine's Day stickers in here. And we have like a little wooden heart plaque that could be for like photography and stuff. And then we have a little itty bitty bottle and an itty bitty little rattle. <laughs> so that'll probably tell us the size of the little itty bitty adorable baby we're about to see. So we have wrapping paper and I'm trying to let you guys see first, but I also don't want to dump him out on the ground. Who is in here? <gasps> What is it? Oh, it's 
like it's a, it's a bag within a bag. So we have another super cute drawstring heart bag here. And oh my God, they feel so squishy in there. And oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh, he's so cute. He's like a little alien turtle. He kind of looks like a turtle, but he also looks like an alien. Look at him. He is so soft and squishy. Look, it's like he can do a little dance. That is so adorable. You guys, I cannot get over how soft he is, how squishy. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. I feel like I need to make him like a little um, cosmic, like little diaper. But look at him, he's so cute. I love when they're so squishy like this. I literally do not know like the different types of silicone that different doll makers use. Now I also think she does all of her own original sculpts, which means like she came up with this guy all herself. And so, so cute and so original. But yeah, I don't know what the different types of silicone are, but I love when they're like super wobbly like this. Cause you'll get some that are like more on the stiff side, which I mean, sometimes like they all kind of have their different like positives and negatives, you know? Like I find like these the most like kind of soothing to just like hold, you know, if you're just, having a moment like yours truly. I love this little guy and I feel like he's gonna be so, so cute to take pictures with. Oh my gosh, so thank you so much. This is so fun when it's just like a complete mystery. And I know some um, Reborn doll like artists will do that as well, where you can literally just say like, I want a mystery baby and you don't know like what it's gonna be. And I think that that's so fun because then it is just like a complete surprise. It's a complete mystery. So this was so sweet of her to send me this little sweet alien baby. What do you guys think he is? Do you think he's like a turtle alien or just an alien alien? Either way, he's so, so cute. So you guys, I think I'm finally gonna take my wig off now, take my Furby hat. I just got lost down like a sea of TikToks. I was looking for this one particular sound. Have you guys ever seen people like going like this? Like, I'm, am I alleviating your stress right now? I don't know why people do this, but I kind of wanted to try it. And I was going to be like, tell the Furby all of your problems um, and I'll pluck your problems and tell the Furby. That sounds honestly stressful. So maybe it's a good thing I didn't find the sound. But yeah, I've just been sitting here in this chair, just scrolling mindlessly since the last video that I was sitting here filming. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. Oh, I know the other thing I was gonna tell you guys is I'm so excited because I'm getting glow in the dark hair dye and I'm so excited. I'm so excited to test it out because I want to know if it really is going to be, it's supposed to be glow in the dark, UV reactive, black light reactive, and I have my doubts. It's kind of like a greenish yellowy color, but I don't know. I think the dye and the wig and the bangs is getting here tomorrow and I'm so excited. But anyway, thank y'all so, so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. And until I see you guys again, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. Oh, and I'm sure I've already typed it somewhere, but in the info box, I'm gonna link you guys to her Etsy page in case you wanna check it out for yourself. She makes like some of the most colorful, like um, vibrant, reborns I've ever seen like bright pink bright purple bright blue it's all amazing so be sure and uh check her out in the info box down below anyway uh I love you guys so much and I will be back again very soon bye <laughs> now that I've taken the thumbnail I just want to know what is my hair gonna look like under here at this point oh so cute you guys I actually bought this last year I feel like I remember myself saying in a video that I was like on the edge of my seat because I was trying to win a, a, a whale Furby item who am I Elmer Fudd a rare Furby item this was that rare Furby item I actually have like kind of a 
couple rare, oh my god, should I do a rare Furby item haul? I feel like I love Furbies too much. Is there a limit? on how much you can love a Furby. Okay, time to take these off my wrist. You guys, I feel like I, like, you know, those like Kardashian waist trainers? I feel like I was just wearing that, but for my wrist. My wrists are so, it's so slim and so sweaty. I feel like, right? <laughs> no, but look at this. I haven't even like trimmed the lace off of the lace wig yet. I just shoved the hat on top of it. I feel like this is how I style all my wigs, honestly. I'm just like, well, just put a beret on it. And then no one will know. Also, I have seen these items now because I discovered AliExpress. Oh my God. If you know, you know. I feel like AliExpress is like so much better than Wish. Like why? Just, why is no one talking about AliExpress? I mean, Wish is kind of, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about either of them. I actually have not successfully received any of my items from AliExpress yet, so I don't know. I actually don't know, but it just seems like there's such a wide variety of weird things on AliExpress. And for years now, everyone's just like, I got it on Wish, Wish, Wish. And now I'm just like, but what? I think it's because AliExpress like did not take PayPal until like just recently and only some of the sellers I think at this point even take PayPal so and honestly I don't know it seems kind of like sketchy if you can't pay with PayPal but do I just have I just have some sort of like positive bias to use PayPal I just feel like it's like a safer all-around shopping experience like nine times out of ten if I'm trying to order something and like PayPal is not a payment option I just like will not buy it i don't is anybody else like that i don't know let's see so i just like suddenly became concerned that like maybe some residual dye was like in the wig cap and my hair has been very well not my hair but my whole head has been very sweaty this whole time so i was like oh is there gonna be like blue patches on my hair now so i just i basically wanted to film that in case so we could all just like gasp but it seems like okay my hair just looks as crappy as it did when i shoved it under there here's the not so exciting conclusion to this video also tamagotchi as necklace <gasps> has it been flipped the whole way the whole time <gasps> anyway uh i i'm i'm leaving again now i'll see you very soon bye